Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium for the second to last time of 2013. The Magic Challenge is over tomorrow. I'm sad about that, but uh, life does move on. And we're going to have a lot of cool stuff in 2014, I hope, too. So definitely keep watching the channel even after the Magic Challenge is over. There's still going to be a ton of really cool magic in 2014. All right, so we have a great trick today for the second to last trick of the Magic Challenge. It's uh, Paul Harris presents Brendan David and Chris Chirich's Envelope. This is a great trick. I got this for Christmas, and I'm really excited because this is really cool. So uh, I want to show you first, before we get into the trick, I have something inside of my pocket here. Let me get it out here. i got to find it. There it is. Okay, so it is a folded up something. It's actually a folded up envelope. Okay, I want you to see it's an envelope, and I'm going to open the envelope, and I want you to see that there's nothing inside of the envelope. I'll even shake it like that to prove that there's nothing in the envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and take the envelope, and I'm going to place it right inside of my pocket now. I'll put it back in there. Now, um, I also have a shuffled up deck of cards. I want you to see the cards are all mixed up thoroughly, and they're all shuffled. Uh, we'll say the spectator chooses this card. They would choose any card they want from this deck. Uh, we'll say they choose this one. Now, as kind of a, uh, a war uh, kind of a, just to let you know for this trick, normally you would have the spectator they would um, sign the card is what they would do. But since I don't have a spectator here to actually sign this card, we're going to say that they signed it. And I'm going to look at it. Normally, I wouldn't know what the uh, card is either. So here we go. And it is the Six of Hearts. Really cool. Okay, Six of Hearts. So I'm going to take the Six of Hearts, and I'm going to place it right inside of this deck. Now, it's going to go somewhere in the deck. I don't know where it is. And I... I honestly don't know. But that's not the point of this trick is to know where the card's at. The point of the trick is I'm going to make your card jump from the deck of cards right here to the empty envelope that you saw just a moment ago in my pocket. Ready? Let's see if I did it. There we go. See? It has jumped. Well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That's the, that's the envelope. Let's look inside and see what's in here. Oh, there's a card. Wait a minute. There's a card. The Six of Hearts, your card. Now, I know what you're probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, that's my card, where's the rest of the deck? Well, actually, the rest of the deck is right over here, and it is, and it is inside of my pocket, right here, the rest of the cards, and that is Envelope. All right, this is a really great trick. I like this one. This is um, by uh, Brendan David and Chris Tariq, and it's a Paul Harris Presents. Honestly, a really awesome trick. Now, I want to say first, I've not done this on the street yet. I've just done it for family members, but their reaction was great to this trick. Their reaction was like, ah! when, when the envelope is there and there's no more deck of cards, they just get freaked out by that. They got so freaked out. I love it. Uh, this is really going to be a good one to do out on the street or in a close-up setting. I, I, honestly can think, I honestly can see that. Um, let me talk about the gimmick first. The gimmick is clever. Um, you know, when you get the gimmick, you're going to look at the thing. You're going to be like, who is this going to fool? No, it's fooling. I've practiced this in front of the mirror a, couple, a lot of, a lot since I got it on Christmas. And I fool myself just standing there when I actually do the change to the envelope. And I'm looking at the gimmick. I'm like, this really looks clever. This is, this is really convincing. Um, I love the trick. I, I think it's great, especially, you know, when you do the change to the envelope, it's quick, and people are like, huh, that's cool. And then you get the revelation of the cards back in, or go into your pocket, which I think is really cool, too. It really, that really adds something to the, um, trick as well, when, because it's like, you know, the spectator doesn't even think about the cards, they're too busy about the card that was in the envelope, and then you say, wait a minute, where's the other cards? They're in my pocket, pull them out. That freaks them out, too, because they're like, wait, how did the cards get in there? It's like, because they see the deck, and then it changes to the envelope, and they're like, wait, did I blink for 20,000 seconds? Uh, but it's really cool. This is a great trick. Envelope. I recommend picking this up. Uh, the one thing is, they do say the gimmick, if you handle it right, is going to last you a long time. So don't misuse your gimmick, because if you don't, it's going to last you years. So uh, definitely do this. And don't worry about the gimmick. Uh, like I said, if you don't mishandle it, 
you're going to be able to do the gimmick and have no problems with it. So this is Envelope. I recommend picking this up. It's a great trick. Definitely check it out. Um, I have a lot of good things to say about it. So definitely go look it up. And I think it's going to be really cool when I actually go out and do this in a real world scenario. All right, tomorrow is the final day of the 365-day Magic Challenge. Make sure to stick around for that because we're going to do one final trick. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. I have a jack, and I also have three tens. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the jack, and we're going to sandwich it right in. Of course, you get the, the two tubes, and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the bottles. He was on a roll with hole-in-one. Not only did he sink the putt on his first shot, but he also got the $500.